Let's take a look at question 37. As used in line 30, sober most nearly means blank. Okay, so this is a words and context question, and we have a very specific strategy that we recommend for these. First, find the word in the passage, then cross it out and predict a replacement word, and then test that prediction against the choices. So let's head over to line 30 and find the word sober. All right, so there's line 30, there's the word sober. I've written here mob rule by clickbait. Let's read from here to get a little bit of context. So the popular leader is obliged to become active in propagating doctrines and establishing powers that will afterwards defeat any sober purpose at which he ultimately might have aimed. Okay, so let's cross out sober and find another word that can fit here. So Burke is arguing in this part of the passage that the French National Assembly is only going to approve ideas that are popular with the masses, right? Mob rule by clickbait instead of moderate compromises. And moderate actually feels like a pretty good synonym for sober, because if you look up to the beginning of this very long sentence, the word moderation and moderate appear twice. Uh, so moderate, sensible, that's our prediction. Let's take it back to the choices and uh, see what we get. I'm going to write down sensible slash moderate. So does moderate mean the same thing as A, Grave. No, grave means serious, but also sad. Moderate has no connotation of sadness. Does it mean the same thing as B, rehabilitated? No, that means restored or healed. So we can cross off both of those choices. Choice C, unpretentious, means unfussy or uncomplicated. And I'm not sure that matches moderate, but let's compare that to choice D. Choice D is reasonable, which doesn't exactly match moderate, but it does match sensible. So this feels like it could be my answer, but I'm not sure. Let's move to plan B. If you're stuck between two choices after applying your prediction to both, we can take those choices and plug them back into the target sentence. So let's do that. The popular leader is obliged to become active in propagating doctrines and establishing powers that will afterwards defeat any unpretentious purpose at which he ultimately might have aimed. Okay. Or, the popular leader is obliged to become active in propagating doctrines and establishing powers that will afterwards defeat any reasonable purpose at which he ultimately might have aimed. Reasonable just sounds better, doesn't it? Now, let's imagine that we don't know what the word unpretentious means. In that case, I would say to resist the temptation of choosing a more fancy word you don't know if one of the choices you do know seems to work pretty well. Trust yourself. D is our answer. Good luck out there. You've got this.